you're right, good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The Titans on third down, three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 11. He's got his tight end, Anthony Ferkser. And he is down deep into Minnesota territory. It's a big play there for Tennessee. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Titans in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They've got a first in tennis, a search for a late score. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. Here's second and ten. Again, Tannehill. And he comes back with one complete. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Back to throw, Tannehill. Now a clash of bodies here, and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two, and he's into the clear. The 40, past the 20. You gotta love it, baby, give me some more. And he is not quite gonna make it all the way in. They'll mark him down right about the one yard line. This is almost what I've heard referred to as a pick 12. Pick 12, explain. Well, you're talking about the six that they were trying oh, to get. because they were so close right? to the end zone. And now the six going the other direction. So when you take a look at teams on the march, they're in the red zone. Then after the interception, and it took a touchdown saving tackle to keep them from going all the way. And he will score. Touchdown, Vikings. Ben Mason. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Vikings are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Extra point by Blankenship is up and good. And that will extend this big lead. Well, they got the ball in great field position. One play later, boom, end zone. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Taking it about the one. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Titans now just about ready to take over. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory, not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now. And if they call plays they want executed, they need to do that and do it really well. Otherwise, there could be repercussions. We'll see how they handle the waning moments of this one. Tannehill's throw here complete to Batson. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they'll stop the clock with 24 seconds to go in the game. On first and 10, Tannehill. Caught by Jones. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. Tannehill throwing again. He'll get this complete to Batson. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at the 26. And with just inside of 10 seconds to go, they'll burn their final timeout. Nine seconds left. They'll run on first down with Evans. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 